everybody. So I'm actually recording this with my Bluetooth headset. I wanted to see if it would work because I know a lot of apps don't support this where the phone, where the Bluetooth, um, when you record, when it comes through the Bluetooth microphone instead of the phone's microphone, a lot of apps that I do have, recording apps, don't support that. So this seems to support it. So I figured I would do like a little vlog style kind of night in my life so you guys can see what my night is like. So I was doing homework before. So I figured I would chat with you guys a little bit about that. Um, so my mom went out, so I'm on my own for dinner tonight, and I didn't make dinner yet. And I'm normally on my own, well, normally we would have eaten by now, but I'm on my own for dinner, and I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna, I just have to shower first, because I <laughs> felt so gross, and I had to do homework. For those of you guys that are wondering, okay, so I know you guys saw a random video show up on my channel before, and today, by the way, is the 17th. <laughs> Just in case. So I know you guys saw a random video go up on my channel before called Union Basic Presentation. Um, yeah, I already <laughs> got a dislike on that. But that video is for school, um, just in case any of you guys are wondering. So that was for school. I know I didn't really warn you guys because I know last year I had to do YouTube for presentations and didn't really warn you guys about it. So yeah, but that's what that was for anyone wondering because I'm using YouTube for that. So... I went to upload it to YouTube, or because I had to like search for my channel. I had a hard time finding it, like on the YouTube site itself. So I had to search for my, I had to put in my name and search for my my own channel, and then I got the URL and I went on the site where I had to go to upload the presentation because you know I can't just give the expect the professor to find me on YouTube. So I uploaded the link, and I copied and pasted it into like the little text box on the site where I had to upload it, and it didn't it didn't paste for some reason. It wasn't there because like I went to submit it and it appeared blank like it looked like I submitted it but it appeared blank so I was like it's gonna look like I didn't do it she's not gonna see anything there so what I did was I had to email it to the professor and she uh, I just emailed her the URL and this professor she's really like she get she got back to me within like minutes like within less than five minutes she said you know she's yeah I, I appreciate it thank you for making sure and I asked her if I would still see my grade on the site because you know, it might look like I didn't submit it. So it might just automatically put in a zero. And since it appeared blank, or the thing is, I, I did submit it, but it appeared it was, if the video, if the link didn't go through, it would appear blank. So I don't know, but I asked her if I would still see my grade in the same place. And she said, yes. She said, if it didn't go through, she would just copy the link to the site. And, you know, to look like I submitted it. So I would still see my grade. So that's, so that's good. Um, so I'm glad that I took care of that. You know, she said that's fine. So I'll still get credit for it. So, yeah. But um, I'm about to go make dinner now. Um, so maybe what I'll do is I'll do the little video while I'm getting my dinner ready. Because now that I have the Bluetooth, I can do hands-free. I can, you know. So, yeah. I can. So I'm going to go now. And I'll talk to you guys in a few minutes, actually. Okay, everybody. So I'm going to be making my dinner now. So I figured I would kind of bring you guys along. I'm going to put my phone down. I'm going to put a screen down so you guys... Because you can still hear me with the Bluetooth. This is nice. Okay, so we have some baked ziti um, from leftover from Mother's Day. Uh, we have it in here, and then we have some meatloaf. So this is gonna be my dinner. Um, we just we did take out sauce so I could have pasta, but I don't know. I didn't feel like making pasta. I just wanted this. Okay, so I'm gonna heat that all on the same plate, and I figured while I get my dinner ready, um, I figured I'd talk to you guys a little bit about something um, an app that I've gotten now. For those of you guys that are sighted that watch my videos, you're obviously not really going to be interested in this. But there's this app that I got. It's, oh my god, it is a lifesaver, I swear. Um, it is called Blind Square. Blind, blind, and then square, like the shape. So it's Blind Square. It's $39.99, but for how much it costs, it's actually, it's actually worth it. So it's not a subscription like some of these apps are. It's just a one-time thing. And what 
does is it's a GPS, but it doesn't give you like step-by-step -step directions like you think. It basically what it does is it um, it will tell you what what street you're on. It'll tell you like what streets are on, what crossings are next. Um, you can shake your phone and it'll tell you your exact location. It tells like directions on a clock face. It's really awesome. And if you have it, for those of you guys that heard of like Foursquare, Swarm, if you have it like linked up to your Foursquare, you can actually, like you could, like once you get to a place, you could check in. You could check in right from that place. So it's pretty awesome. So I, for any of you guys that are blind, I would recommend it. I mean, it's not a free app, you do have to pay for it, but it is definitely worth it. Um, it definitely, I was on a mobility lesson yesterday and my mobility teacher actually recommended I get it. I was like, you know, I'll give it a go. I was kind of like reluctant just because of the price and you know, it's kind of a lot when you only get a certain amount of money that you have to, that has to last you an entire month, but I broke down and I got it. So it was basically the app was telling me what what um, streets I was on, what streets were next, what places were near me, and it was saying, like, the, it was giving off the clock face um, directions. So it was really awesome, and I definitely would recommend it. Um, there's, like, a whole lot of things we can do. I mean, this is my dinner on here. But there's a whole lot of things we can do. I mean, it can give you, like, step-by-step -step directions. Well, it can work with Google Maps. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. But it can. Um, there's like, it's really cool. I mean, I can, you put in, you can put in points of interest. It makes sounds. You, there's different voices you can get for it. Like I usually, when I'm on the bus, I do, I use it so that way I can keep track of where I am. So I definitely would recommend it. <laughs> it's, it's pretty awesome. So yeah. So let's see. My phone's getting hot. It's okay. Um, Okay, everybody, so it is currently five after seven, and I just made my dinner, so I'm gonna show you guys my dinner here. So I have some baked ziti and meatballs, or not meatball, meatballs, meat, a piece of meatloaf. Um, I actually had the same thing last night, but I was just like, I don't know. I didn't feel like having pasta, I just wanted, I wanted this. Because, okay, I like meat with my meal, okay. Um, because I don't like, I mean, I like pasta, you know, I'll eat it, but I prefer to have it with meat, like with meatballs or sausage or meat sauce or some sort of meat. I don't know. It's, I'm kind of weird. Like I have weird eating habits. Like, okay, so I got to let this cool down a little bit. So that's why I kind of have to wait a little to eat. Okay. So I have these weird eating habits. Um, so I don't like condiments. Like I don't like, um, ketchup on things. I don't like ketchup. I don't like mustard. I don't like things like onions, peppers, relish, tomatoes, mushrooms, um, all that kind of stuff. I don't like salad. I don't like salad dressing. I don't like lettuce. I don't like olives. I mean, I do eat a lot of vegetables, but there are a lot of things that I don't like. Um, I don't like, um, okay, you guys are going to think I'm really weird when I say this, but I don't like milk on cereal. I just like cereal dry and I when I eat cereal like I eat it with a spoon even though I don't have milk I still eat it with a spoon just because it looks better so I'm not eating with my hands and my mom was like she would say to me that's a weird way to eat cereal I wouldn't go out and eat it like that I'm like well yeah but it doesn't look right to eat it with my hands and she's like I know but it's a weird way to eat cereal so I don't like cereal uh, well I like cereal but only dry I mean if it has milk I will not eat it um my, I remember one time my dad he said to me he's like we were eating raisin bran and he's like dry raisin bran yuck go <laughs> and then um let's see um he like my dad like I don't like I mean I like pizza I mean I like sausage but I don't like sausage on pizza I know that's probably kind of weird too um I don't like like I said I don't like salad I don't like I don't like sauce that has like chunky tomatoes. I mean, I like I said, I like pasta and I'll eat it if I don't, if there's like no meat with it, but I would prefer to have some sort of meat with it. I know, I know it's weird, but like, that's just the way I am. One more story I was going to tell you guys. I forgot what it was. Um, let's see. I think it was pertaining to cereal. 
Shoot, I was gonna tell you guys one more story, but it just totally slipped my mind. It's about my eating habits. Um, even though I'm using my Bluetooth, I'm still holding the phone so you guys can see me. Um, yeah, but um, I was, I don't know, it's weird how, oh yeah, I was gonna say I don't like mayonnaise. I also don't like mayo, so okay, <laughs> this is really bad, I guess. But okay, so when me and my brother went to public school, you know, my mom was making us sandwiches every day to bring to school. And, you know, my brother would like mayonnaise on his sandwich. I didn't. So what my mother would do when she made our sandwiches, she would even do this at home too sometimes. But what she would do is she would take the same butter knife that she would use to, to spread the mayonnaise on my brother's sandwich. She would take that same butter knife and she would use that to cut both of our sandwiches in half. So what that means is that the sandwich would still have, the, sa the knife would have a little bit of mayonnaise on it. And that a trace of the mayonnaise would get on my sandwich. So if there was like just like a drop of mayonnaise just from that, just from like my mother cutting it with the same knife she used to spread the mayonnaise on my brother's sandwich, I would not eat it. Like, I wouldn't eat it. I would throw it away. I'd be like, Mom, can you make me another sandwich without mayonnaise? I would not. <laughs> I would not eat it. <laughs> it was, I know, right? I was so bad. Like, I didn't, I didn't eat it. I was like, no, I'm not eating this. So what she had to start doing since, you know, was she, she would have to use two separate knives. One to cut the sandwiches and one to spread the mayonnaise on it. So she had to use two knives. Because normally people would just use one knife for that. But my mother couldn't do that because I wouldn't eat it. <laughs> I remember I used to not like peanut butter and jelly. Because I don't like foods touching. I don't like when like two foods touch. I know that's probably weird too. Um, yeah. I'm just, I don't know, it's weird. Um, but that's just, I, just like, that's just, I have like a lot of weird eating habits. Like I don't like butterfingers. I don't like... I don't know. I don't like the only way I'll eat eggs is scrambled. So like if you make me eggs over easy or sunny side up or any other way other than scrambled, I will not eat them. <laughs> I maybe I would just be polite, but I do not like them that way. I only like my eggs scrambled. And since I don't like mayonnaise, I don't like deviled eggs. And I don't like the smell of hard boiled eggs. Like also like the foods that I don't like, I also don't like the smell of. I don't like a lot of seafoods. Um, when it comes to potato chips, I don't like the salt and vinegar chips. Um, when it comes to seafood, I only eat like shrimp and scallops and clams and mussels and that's it. I don't really eat a lot of seafood. I know that's, I don't eat sushi. I don't eat a lot of, I don't really like a lot of ethnic foods. I mean, except for some like Italian food, some Mexican food, some Chinese food and that's it. Like, well, I like, <laughs> like all Italian food, but I don't like a lot of Mexican or not Mexican, but like a lot of ethnic foods. So that's another thing I guess about me that's weird. Like there's quite a few things I don't like. I mean if I eat a sandwich or a burger or something, it has to be very plain. Otherwise I won't eat it. Like I mean it's seasonings are fine, but no onions, no peppers, no mayonnaise, no nothing. Just meat, cheese, maybe. I like barbecue sauce and buffalo sauce and butter, so that's okay. Salt and pepper. But no, it has to be very plain, just dry. Just the meat, the cheese, and that's it. Or if it's a burger, just the burger, the bun, the cheese, bacon, if I want bacon. And that's it, nothing else. Like, I know I'm weird. <laughs> I don't know what got me talking about my eating habits. I think because, like, I don't know. Um, I don't mind sharing my eating habits, but you guys are probably going to think I'm really weird. Because <laughs> I don't know of anyone who doesn't like milk on their cereal. I don't know of anyone who doesn't really <laughs> like any condiments. I mean, I don't like mustard either, but I don't know of anybody who doesn't really like any condiments. I don't know... You know, I, so people, you guys are probably going to think that I'm really weird. <laughs> I mean, I have a friend who doesn't like peanut butter, and I've had people tell me, how could he not like peanut butter? And I would say, it's, I know it's weird that you don't like peanut butter. And he said, it's not weird, it's just that I don't like. He's a lot worse than me, actually. It's like, and I have another friend who doesn't, who like, it's to the point where she doesn't like, she only likes chicken if it's like very plain, like no seasoning, no nothing. So those two people that I know are worse than me. <laughs> I mean, I eat seasonings on stuff, you know, but I, I just don't like condiments, but he, you know, like this friend of mine, like he doesn't even like Cheez-Its or like 
goldfish or anything like that. It's, I don't know. It's weird. But yeah, I figured I would talk to you guys about my eating habits because I know they're weird. So yeah, <laughs> I guess I'll um, catch up with you guys again when I'm done eating. So yeah. Hey everyone, so it is currently 7.30, and I wasn't sure if it was recording for a second, but it is. So, just got done cleaning up after dinner. I just had my dinner, so. Um, one thing I had forgotten to mention as far as my weird eating habits, the list can just go on and on. I mean, it's like a, it's a some, some things it's like a texture thing, like, okay, I don't like sour cream, I don't like pickles, um, I don't like, oh, my phone's facing the wrong way. Um, I don't like, okay, so you're going to think this is weird too, but as far as like walnuts go, I like walnuts in something, like in a cake, in brownies, in cookies. I like them in something, but I don't like them plain. Like I don't like them right out of the bag. I also don't like, um, okay, so it's the other way around with like fruit. So I like fruit plain, like just eating fruit off of a plate or something. I like raisins plain, like is eating raisins right out of a box. But I don't like them in something. I don't like raisins in like a cake or like even oatmeal cookies. I mean, I like, I'll eat them, but they're not like my favorite. But like raisin breads, um, like cakes that have raisins, I don't really care for them. Um, I'll eat raisins plain, but not in something. Same with fruit. Like I don't like fruit and cakes. So I don't like apple pie. Um, Pumpkin pie is okay. <laughs> I don't like cherry pie because, again, you know, the cherries are baked in, inside of it. I don't like cakes that have fruit in them. I don't like fruit cakes. Um, what else do I not like? Um, that's about it. I mean, as far as, like, mint goes, like, spearmint, wintergreen, peppermint, I'll – um, wintergreen – or not wintergreen, spearmint is my favorite. So there's also a lot of texture things, but I know, like, I have a lot of weird eating habits, and, like, there's probably things I'm not even thinking of right now. And the list can just go on. <laughs> I kid you not. Like, even when I eat, like, buffalo wings, I don't like dipping them in blue cheese. Um, I don't like, well, I don't like ranch dressing or any kind of salad dressing. I don't like, I mean, I know, it's, it's bad. I don't like salsa. I don't like, um, I don't like things, I don't, there's a lot of things. I don't like avocado. I don't like guacamole. There's, they, it, it can just go on forever. <laughs> But yeah, but I'm actually going to end the video right here. I kind of want to do a little like night in the life kind of thingy, but this video is not really going to go on for too long um, because usually what I do at night is like we'll have dinner and then I'll hang out a little bit, listen to some music. If I have any homework to do, I'll do that. And then I will, you know, take a shower, get ready for bed, watch some YouTube. Uh, it really all depends. So I'm actually just going to end the video now, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Alright, bye guys.